Okay. okay, so good morning and welcome back to Teal Plow TV. Uh, this week we're in uh, Merseyside and we're in uh, Chilwall Golf Club. Uh, fairly fresh morning, September the 9th, not, uh, not quite the temperature you'd expect for this time of year but the sky seems to be brightening up and we're looking forward to seeing what this uh, Parkland Golf Club has to offer. Okay, so before we go out and make our way onto the uh, 18 holes at Chilwall Golf Club, we thought we'd just take a quick look at uh, the practice facilities which are very impressive. Um, lovely and very well maintained driving range uh, from these bays behind me and then if you just look further to my uh, to my left there's a short game practice area as well and you'll also see um, perhaps just uh, whether you get those on camera there's some astroturf teen areas as well for the winter months so uh, some really good warm-up facilities so no excuses for when you get onto that first tee you should be ready to go Okay, so we're on the fifth hole. It's only a very short par four, 299 yards to be exact from the LTs, and a real interesting one. Uh, can go with driver off uh, off the tee, which would be uh, most people's choice. But as you can see from behind me, you've got a very narrow fairway to hit, and some uh, some bunkers that look fairly uh, fairly big and ready to catch a ball. And they're both, uh, they're sort of staggered from anything from kind of, well I'm stood at 150, so from 100 yards in, you've got staggered bunkers all the way into the green. So a lower short part four, quite a little tricky one, and make sure you get that club selection spot on. Okay, so we're on the aprons into the, uh, the seventh green. I've come up a little bit short, either wrong club selection or it's uh, rolled possibly back down the slope from the front of the green there. You can probably see from behind me it's quite a, a severe slope. Run-ins and aprons all to the green so far and something we've mentioned already before are extremely well kept. So well kept I'm going to choose to put up the hill. Maybe the wrong option we'll soon find out. Uh, perhaps the other option obviously is to just chip on onto the top of the rise and let it release out. Me personally I'd prefer to have the putter in my hand but uh, a difficult one to judge. So let's get that one up. Possibly not a bad option. That's rolled on a bit. So again, that's going to finish about 10 foot away from the flag. Again, as I said to you, maybe the better option, some of you out there will choose to chip. But again, if you see the kind of undulations, if you come up short, that's going to make its way straight back down. As would again, if we come up short on this other side, you're going to roll back down to the left. And again, into these gullies, there's one on the opposite side of this green. So uh, a small target and uh, a difficult one to hit and hold and important again that you get that club selection correct otherwise uh, you'll be like I've just done looking to make a difficult up and down best we've got there is to within six foot of the flag to try and save our par so an interesting green here on the seventh okay so we're just on the entrance to the uh, 14th it's uh, par 5 481 yards from the tee box and we're stood sort of uh, 80 80 yards short of the green um, the teen area itself is an, a notable feature of Childwall throughout so far is this very narrow fairways and the question is asked on each tee box you've generally got trees both left and right and as I say a very narrow landing area so lo although it's only 481 yards you've got to be really accurate off the tee to find the right position to have a go at any of these uh, in two but the question is certainly asked on this one in particular you can see the ravine the yellow stakes that run in front of the green on a direct uh, angle across the front so to go into is a sort of high risk strategy very small green to hit so I would think this is the kind of area few pitch marks left here from uh, some regular play so I think this is the kind of area you're looking to land in to give yourself uh, a short pitch into the green and make your birdie in that way on this par five okay so we're just greenside on the uh, 14th which is uh, a par five it measures 481 yards from the visitor tee box, so not, not the longest par five in the world. But one noticeable thing, and what I wanted to show you by looking back down the fairway, you can see the definition, you can see how tight they are, and uh, the, the landing area is very narrow from the tees, so you have to be extremely accurate to get your ball on there, and it's important to do so because if you miss, first cut of rough's not too bad, but the second, your ball is really nestled down. So there's no question, going for this green in two means, first of all, decent drive in a good position, but then also, you're really being asked the question to land on a very small green and you've got to carry this uh, this ravine this ditch that runs at an angle across the front of the green so a high risk strategy to go for the green in two more likelihood is you'll end up sort of uh, firing something in to give yourself 70 80 yards in to pitch in and then give yourself a, a decent chance of birdie that way a real interesting par five here at the 14th at Childwall. 
Okay, so just wanted to take a close up of, uh, of the rough and how uh, by missing the fairway bit, literally, we're, um, I don't know, five, six yards away from the fairway. Uh, so you've got, so obviously, your first cut for the fairway, second cut, which, as I said, you have mentioned earlier, not too bad, you get a nice lie there. But then again, we're a, a foot away from the second cut, and I don't even know whether from that camera angle you can see my ball. It's nestled away down there, and uh, literally, I mean, you know, we're, we're sort of, uh, well, for my level of golf anyway, this is going to be a bit of a hack up the fairway, and certainly not going to be looking to uh, get up in two. So again, just shows you and demonstrates the importance of finding those tight and narrow fairways here at Childwall. Okay, so we're on the uh, 17th and uh, we're just starting to make our way onto the fairway. We've teed off. Um, I don't think you can see the ball's behind, but fairly good position off the tee, about 150 in. And this is a tough par four. It's stroke index two. Uh, it measures 400 yards from not much difference between the uh, white and yellow tee boxes today. Um, but you can see behind me there's some, uh, again, once again, from every hole I've used this word definition, the fairways look superb. They're fairly narrow. Once again, trouble right, trouble left. And it really tightens up on the sort of 250 mark where you know a decent drive is going to possibly land. Um, bunkers await. There's a ravine. You can see the guys working on the ditch there that runs from again. That's probably going to be sort of 80 yards out from the hole. But a, a really great feature hole, the 17th here at Childwall. Right, so we thought we'd uh, take our usual look at the greens and I uh, have to say we've played sort of, uh, we're nine, ten holes in now and uh, there's been a very uh, consistent quality to the greens and it's, uh, it's they're certainly of high quality. Um, hopefully you can pick up from camera and some of the other shots that we've taken in the course. Extremely well kept, again blemish free, very few marks on them at all. Uh, they've got excellent pace, very, very fast indeed. Um, chips tend to be uh, have to be dropped in a little short and let them let them roll out. But as far as the pace of greens for putting, uh, the roll has been superb. Uh, we've we've again seen no bobbles at all. Um, we're slightly downhill for this put back down the green on 17. But uh, I'll give you an idea. Hopefully you can pick that one up. That's again still rolls its way out nicely down to the hole don't need a great deal of it in that again looks so like it's coming to a stop about a foot short of the hole um, and hopefully one day i'll hold one of those when we're on camera but not today but uh yeah greens great quality very consistent and uh, certainly get the thumbs up from us at two o'clock right so we're stood on the 18th green our round has come to a finish um rain stayed off a bit cooler this morning for September, but uh, stayed dry and we've had an enjoyable morning. And uh, overall, at uh, Chilled Wall Golf Club, you'll certainly get that same enjoyment, no doubt yourselves. It's classic Parkland course, um, tight, off the, tight off the tee boxes, narrow fairways, extremely well kept greens, aprons, runoffs, um, and the fringes again, excellently well maintained and uh, could have no, no qualms in terms of the quality of the golf course. Facilities as well, we had a little quick look earlier, practice facilities, your warm-up facilities, all first class, as is the, uh, the pretty much the iconic clubhouse uh, in the background. We've had a, a great warm welcome, as I'm sure you will do as a visitor. Um, average sort of price, it's, uh, the advertised green fee is £35 a round, and I think again that represents good value. Um, from the 1st of November I think that changes, you get some winter deals here, and uh, certainly well worth a look. But again. Uh, a great course here on Merseyside and uh, choose a trip to Childwall and I'm sure you'll have an enjoyable day.